Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, my fellow classmates, Miss Terry and hi, Dr. Medigan. And we are from Sergei College Sarawak and we are preparing inside the Sarawak building. Oh. Okay, so the topic of our presentation is time is virtual. And then we have four members. This is Lilin Hong, Prudence, and that is Octavia, Aaron, and me, the and Tim, but you can call me Tia. So, Darren is going to present about the abstract and a little bit about what we are, what we are presenting. So, uh, what we are focusing on in this presentation is the punctuality of Malaysian students, specifically the students, and attempting to modify their behavior through using operant conditioning. Uh, it was found by B.S. Skinner, who was inspired by Edward Fondyke laws and effects. Uh, and he was also a proponent of behaviorism. Mm. So yeah, those are, it's like basically the theory is your behavior is learned through positive and negative reinforcement and punishment. And so this is done by rewarding the subject with either rewards and punishment, and this in theory should change the behavior when it applies to Malaysian students. Uh, so we, we are going to show you a video of uh, the situation of punctuality in Malaysia. Okay, if we can get it on. Let's wait. Yep. Time is a bit late. Uh, okay, we're having a short time. While we're waiting, let me just tell you a bit about the time. Okay, this name is Mr. Malaysia. He is 57 years old, so he's very independent. This in Malaysia is very pan Asian. You know, he comes from, from a very multi Asian background, and I think it will be perfect for your show. Malaysia is a bit late, uh, classic Malaysia. Malaysia is always late. Uh, let, me just, let me just call him for you. Don't mind. Hello? Ah, Malaysia. Hey, you're on the way. You're coming now. Uh, coming up. F five minutes more, five minutes more. Okay, you're very you actually. You're, are you the red flag? Then the Putra turn right? You're, you're there, right? Yeah, yeah. You're nearby, right? You're gonna come soon, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, bye, bye, bye. See you soon, bye. Uh, you just woke up. I'll come back.
uh, he is very interested in knowing how the consequences of a given actions influence their behavior in their daily life. Mm -hmm. And this is the operant condition. We have a uh, positive reinforcement. Uh, positive reinforcement, negative punishment, positive punishment, and negative reinforcement. I'll pass the floor to Octavia. Alright, so uh, what does punctuality mean? Well, it's derived from the word punctual. So what does it mean? It means arriving or doing something at the expected time or planned time. So like if the thing is like 2 o'clock, you got it. Maybe at 2 or before 2. <laughs> which is before the stated time. And well, in simple words, it means being on time or early. So, Malaysians and punctuality. As we can see from the video earlier, punctuality is a problem for Malaysians. And this also can be found in Malaysian students, okay? So, it's very common in Malaysia. It's also because of the fact that we Malaysians are very laid back and also have a familiar attitude which they don't really bother about much stuff. So that is why they don't really care about time. So for them, time is not really that important. And the most common uh, excuse they give when we ask where are they or what are they doing, they'll be like, oh, I'm on the way. Uh, just wait for me a while. So if you see in the video, the guy also said, oh, he's on the way, but he actually just got up, he just woke up. So that's one of the uh, excuses that Malaysians would give. I'm on the way. So he's, the on the way can be like maybe an hour later than it arrived, and etc. So they also have a fondness of blaming others except themselves. So mm -hmm. if they come to class late, and the lecturer asks, why are you late? Oh, jam, that's why. <laughs> And also, uh, I was waiting for the bus, that's why I couldn't come early. And if they wake up late, some people would not straight away say, oh, it's because I wake up late, because they do not want to feel as though they are the one that make themselves arrive late at the place. So, yeah. So, the positive effect of punctuality. So, it means like, what is the good thing about coming early? Well, of course, it gives you less stress, less conflict. When you're happy, your friends are happy, everyone will be happy. So also, there's no sour black face, means no one will be sad during that day of the outing. So negative effect of procrastinating. Well, in a way, procrastinating also leads to punctuality because the more you procrastinate, the more less punctual you are to arrive at some place. For example, I'm sure everyone, when they wake up, maybe they will like check their phone and stuff. And then by checking their phone, time will actually pass. And then they're like, oh shit. Oh, oops, I'm not sure what's Uh Anyways, they'll be like, oh no, I'm late. Uh, time passed so fast. So yeah. So that is why when you procrastinate, it will actually make you become, like arrive at a place late. Mm -hmm. All right, so is procrastinating good? Well, it depends. Some people say it's good because it helps them, you know, hike up adrenaline and stuff. And uh, when it's not good, it's well, you arrive late and cause problem to everyone. Like, who knows, you need to watch a movie at 5 and you arrive at 5.30. Well, that's not good for you and your friends. So, and besides that, you also cause physical and emotional stress. When your friends are waiting for you, they keep walking around, texting and calling, but you won't want to answer. So that is why it will cause physical and emotional stress on you and also your friends. So, so. next, I'm going to explain about positive and negative reinforcement and then positive and negative punishment. How do they work on it? So positive reinforcement is like you apply something positive that increases the behavior. For example, for parents, when the when their children being punctual in class, they are arrive on time. The parents actually can give more pocket money, which huh? more pocket money to increase to their pocket increase money. their behavior to giving them some reward to give them reward. And then whereas for um, the management of university or college, they actually can 
giving them reward by um, by how to say according to their grades. For example, for those uh, those, those students or rest of time, they normally get extra knowledge for compared to those who procrastinate all the time. And then they might perform well in the college, and then the college normally can give them like yearly of principal awards to reward them. <laughs> for negative reinforcement, is you take away something the students or children they don't like. For example, if they are being punctual, they might be avoid from being routed at home. And then for college or university, they can give them less coursework, which causes them less stress and more fun time. Hint, hint, Mr. Lee. Hint. <laughs> okay, whereas for positive punishment is you give them something they are not, they don't like, something that make them feel unfair. For, for example, you increase the time being rounded. For example, maybe your parents Every time they ground with you, they're like maybe one day, but but then if they're being procrastinated in class or procrastinated to school or some some uh, some place, and then you increase like maybe two days or three days. Or you beat them by what they do in Asia. Uh, or you beat them. <laughs> That's part Asian parents did as well. Okay, so uh, where else for the management of university and college? If the student being procrastinate, you give them extra coursework, extra assignment, and this I don't encourage the most the career to go. So, yeah. <laughs> so whereas for negative punishment, at least you take it somewhere they like, take like take away something uh, something they like. For example, if they procrastinate, you deduct their pocket money. Whereas for the management of university and college, you bar them for exam. Meaning, oh no. Yep. Exam or test lah. Exam or okay. quiz or test. Or, or attending class, you'll be considered yep. absent, like what safety is doing. Uh -huh. You kick out them from class and then you give them maybe like, um, a, how to say, a warning letter and then okay. first. Better let them never. Sorry? Better let them never. No, you have to give them punishment. Oh, they well, then right? that is Malaysian, Malaysian attitude. So next, I'm gonna pass the floor to Aaron to make the conclusion. Uh, so in conclusion, uh, we deduce that operant conditioning can be used in reinforcing reinforcing uh, punctuality in students, especially Malaysian students. Uh, but then the reinforcements and the punishment should be used appropriately because you know you don't want the students to be abused or like you know just like abuse lah. Emotionally. So, emotional. Uh, uh, that's all. So thank you. Bye. Conclusion is like I I done the abstract conclusion compilation. Octavia did the punctuality, positive effect, negative effect. Celia did positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement, positive punishment, and Prudence did BF Skinner, operant conditioning, and negative punishment. This started the reference. You received the slide anyway, so it should be okay. You can read it through, you know. So thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.